Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be installing a wireless reverse camera. So I need to install a reverse camera on a camper van, which doesn't actually have a rear view mirror or you know any kind of help to reverse beyond the two side wing mirrors. So I'm going for a wireless reverse camera, which actually comes with its own little screen. Now there's many different routes that you can take. You could get a wired camera, which connects to the head unit that you have. But my idea is to have a little screen where you would have the rear view mirror and it just so happens that this kit actually comes with that as well. These are also useful if you have a caravan because you can actually put the wireless camera at the back of the caravan and still be able to see it on your dashboard without running a massive cable along the entirety of the vehicles. Obviously there are some wires that they do, the camera does actually need to be powered, uh, but I'll go into that a little bit later. All right, let's see what's in this box. And here is the monitor itself some buttons at the top here. It has a SMA connector for external aerial if you need one and a mounting bracket here. Also in the box we have this window suction mount for the screen. Now here's the actual camera itself. So you see it says uh, FHD which probably means full HD although it does actually state that the screen is 720p so you're not going to be able to see the full uh, 1080 on here although I do note that this screen does actually have a memory card input so it does have a DVR function so I assume it records at 1080p uh, which is uh, why you would have a 1080p camera. These lights over here are actually IR blasters so uh, it's good for night vision as well. It's actually uh, pretty heavy it's made of metal so it's it's quite robust and if you have a look underneath it actually does have quite a few actual standards and some quality control as well so this is actually a really nice camera yeah i'm quite i'm quite pleased with that and an adhesive pad which is interesting that means that potentially i wouldn't need to drill into the van to mount this i could use this double-sided tape but it just depends on how strong this tape is i guess we'll find out I'm actually going to put that on there now. So you can see that the camera does have a wire and that is obviously because it's an electrical device which does actually need to be powered. And there's two ways that I can power this. The first way is by running the cable to the reverse light on the van, and that means it will only receive power when you are in reverse. But I would like this to be on permanently so that the camera can be used as a rear view camera all the time. When you're driving, you can always see what's going on behind you. So, with that in mind, I'm going to see if I can find a permanent 12 volt connection to run this to instead. So this is what I'm dealing with. It is a Nissan Primaster van and it's been converted into a camper van. So if we have a quick look inside, you can see that we have a, a camper van situation. Now, it does make things slightly difficult because of how it's being converted there isn't any way really to run a cable from the front to the back of the van because we've got floorboards down here and we've got this stuff glued onto the ceiling so running cables is just going to be a ball ache uh, which is why I've opted for the cordless um, but it's not without its issues because it's a van the actual doors are completely separate from the main van as you can see here there's a massive gap between the door and the van itself and the only way to get a wire from this door to the van is uh, sort of through this grommet which isn't going to be an easy situation either because of how it's been designed the second issue is where i'm going to put the actual camera itself and i think the best point on a van with no rear view at all is at the very top so that you can see all of the road and everything behind the van so what I've done is I've just removed this light to see what's behind it and I can see now and I've fed this thick cable down 
into the door so that I could see where it comes out. And as you can see, I've got it coming out here. Uh, that is probably where I'm gonna put the camera sort of here. So this camera is basically just stuck onto the metal using the 3M adhesive that came with it. And it is really sturdy. I'm hoping that it will stick, but we'll wait and see. We can always uh, screw it in later day if we need to. It goes behind the center brake light, down inside the door until it gets down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to power this with the actual uh, number plate light. So I'm just gonna tap into the number plate light. This does mean that the reverse camera will only work when the uh, lights are on, but it's easy to switch your lights to be able to see the reverse camera. So uh, that's going to be jobs are good. And then I don't need to worry about trying to get the cable somewhere from this door and into the rest of the van. So um, yeah, so that's, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna tap into this wire and then I'm gonna put this door back together. Right, so it's done and I used the scotch locks that actually came with the wireless camera. And as you can see, literally just clips on around the factory wires for the number plate light. And the camera has just plugged in using spade connectors directly into that. So I haven't actually bought anything or done anything. I haven't used anything apart from standard wire cutters and uh, use some cable ties to hold the wire onto the other wire and uh, the camera's working absolutely fine. Right, so in the actual van itself, here's the device, here's the screen. So I was gonna put it up here, but then if I put it up here, it kind of, I don't know, it just seemed like it was blocking my vision. Uh, and um, there's no point having it up here because we don't need to actually have it as a mirror. So I've put it somewhere unobtrusive and I've put it down here. And the screen itself is actually very, very high quality. I, I was imagining it was gonna be some cheap screen running maybe a 480 resolution or something like that, but the screen is actually very sharp. So this is actually a 720 screen. Anyway, uh, you can see it's displaying the image from the camera um, behind. Uh, that's because I've uh, got the lights on, so it's uh, powering the registration light on the back and therefore powering the camera and then it could connect directly to this. I didn't do anything on this unit uh, to make this work, it just works straight away. If I had a micro SD card in it, it would currently be recording, um, but I see absolutely no benefit in recording uh, the back. Although you can add a camera to this and have it recording out of the front as well. And it can split the screen showing the front and the back and it can record both. Uh, whilst looking at the reverse camera as well, if we press this button here, you can see it brings up the uh, reverse markings on the screen itself. And you can remove those. All right, you can turn the image upside down. And you can invert the image both ways as well. That's a nice touch. Oh, this button goes to the second camera, which isn't there. And that's the split screen. So you've got the reverse camera and then you could have the front camera here as well. But obviously we don't have that, so we're just gonna look at the back. Yeah, I was kind of expecting this to be one of those uh, sort of cheap Chinese things, but this is actually exceptional quality. It, it works straight off the bat without me actually having to do anything. It came with everything I needed to set it up. And uh, to be honest with you, it's made my life extremely easy um, installing the reverse camera in this van. Uh, so that is awesome. If you're looking for a wireless reverse camera, this is probably the one that you'll want. I'll stick a link in the video description if you want one. And now I need to get on with some other stuff.